Hello, my hearties. A very good morning to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on TikTok just for you, dinky-doo. Friday morning, nothing gets past me. This is the red-eye pop-up. The early bod, the early bod catches the worm, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I know that a lot of you will be scrolling and you'll want just a wee chat with the world's top talk show presenter to start your day off on a Friday morning. So a very, very warm welcome to you. Uh, feel free to come and join us and uh, put your input into the world because we are absolutely global on here and everybody's starting to get to know Scotty McClue. This is the one that everyone's talking about. This is the one that everyone's watching. This is the one that everyone's staying with because if you miss a moment of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life and you don't really want to do that, do you? So excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Us. And as I say, a very good morning. There's Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo on the hat, just for you, telling you what is what. Now, uh, we popped up last night. This whole TikTok has been so successful, absolutely bowled over by the success of it. And we started it because the news was so depressing and people have joined us for joy and for joyfulness. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, TGE. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to our Friday morning pop-up live here on TikTok just for you. With me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the world's most humble man, and of course, the father of feminism. We like that, don't we? Good morning, absolutely splendid, my dear old fellow. Ah, my dear fellow, how lovely to see you. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Imagine being called sunshine. What a lovely thing. How are you, says Luke? Amazing Luke. Guys, follow us as soon as you come on, because we're very short on followers. We've only got about uh, 12,500 followers, and I've had 600,000 views to, uh, to my TikToks live. So this is very big stuff, you know, and uh, get yourselves sorted out. Very well, thank you. Thank you, Sunshine. Scotty, from years ago, you're a legend. Luke, lovely to have you with us from years ago, and a very good morning to you, and dinky do. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We must have a follow fest. Always a follow fest on Scotty McClue, and spread the word. Get looking at all the Scotty McClue videos. Apparently, if you tap my portrait in the top left-hand corner, then you can get yourself on to all the Scotty McClue videos. Very good, and get on to Scotty McClue YouTube channel. There we are. Any advice for someone with an important football game? Yes, play your very, very best. Get up there and do it. Say to yourself before you go on to the pitch, this is the moment and I am the one. I can and I will. That's my advice to you. Wish me happy birthday, says Lothar. Lothar, of course. Hi from Lanark, my man. I'll be from Lanark, dinky do, Dinky do from years back, my man. The years go by. Yes, indeed. Scotty, you're up early. No, not at all. We're always up. It's just I've popped up to see you early. That's the difference, you see. You are amazing. I thank you, Astrix. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to our Red Eye Early Bud pop-up. First thing this morning in the UK, 6.30. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now then, sunshine smiling and laughing. We like that. Lots of smiling and laughing on Scotty McClue always. A couple of people tried to make it a bit serious by introducing politics, but we don't go for it. Happy birthday. There's a row of birthday cakes. Can you play the bagpipes, Scotty? I know, but my father and grandfather were tremendous pipers. I mean, outstanding pipers. There we are. What's in the diary for today? Ali boy, a very, 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 very busy day today as always for McClue, which uh, hence the reason I thought let's pop up early and see how everybody's doing because this is so important. And then the rest of the day, a very important day, meeting wonderful people. I am very, very fortunate in that. Good morning from South Africa. Are you throwing something on the bray for breakfast? Do you breakfast on the bray or is it mainly evening meals? Happy birthday, everybody. 
There we are. Thank you very much. Indeed, it's not my birthday, of course, unknown, but it's obviously yours. <coughs> Good morning. Followers, as soon as you come on, thanks, Ron, for the follow. Every follower is valuable. Thank you so much. Shout out to the driver of the X24 waiting for me. Yes, indeed. Morning from London. Morning, London. We love having you with us, of course. The capital of England. Wonderful stuff. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. And um, come and join us. This is where we get together first thing on a Friday morning for a bit of chit-chat before everyone heads off to their work <coughs> or heads out to their business or gets on with their day. A Royal Majesty in the background. Yes, it is actually. Well spotted. Good for you. Nothing gets past you. I'm going to call you Sherlock Holmes. There we are. I won an important football game yesterday. 2-1. Oh, you won it. I thought you were asking for advice. No, that's excellent. Good for you. Unknown. I'm nearly finished work, says James. James, are you a night shift person? I know all about that. My clue used to finish about three o'clock in the morning but uh, only for about 25 years. Uh, do follow us, guys, didn't you do? What a joy you are. I hope you have a great weekend. Sunshine, you must have a marvellous weekend and love being you because it's a lovely thing to be. We like that. Hi, this is Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Did you do? Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's early morning pop-up. Hello, hello everybody. Are you a boat driver? Well, yes, I do drive a lot of boats. I wish for the uniting of Arabia under one flag. Signmaster, what a lovely thing to say. The only question is getting that past all the countries. There we are. 25 years, three in the morning, what a grind. Not at all TGE. I loved every second of it because three of these hours were spent talking to the nation. Yes, so it was excellent. You're such a great joy and lift everyone's spirits. It's wonderful. Uma, what a nice thing to say. Do follow us, guys. Lovely to have you with us. This is the big one. If you're scrolling, stop scrolling. You've arrived where you want to be. Thanks, White Stallion, for the follow. Hello, Colonel Sanders. Good morning. I salute you. There we are. Excellent stuff. Thank you for your support. You're truly a great man. You're like Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia. Let me tell you my favorite Lawrence of Arabia story. He wanted to become just an ordinary RAF air craftsman. And he applied to the Royal Air Force. And the HR officer or the personnel officer at the time uh, put in a report that he wasn't sure how suited this individual air craftsman T.E. Lawrence was going, sorry, T.E. Shaw was going to be for the newly formed Royal Air Force. And his senior officer said to the HR officer, hire him or you will be bowler hatted for the rest of your career. <coughs> in other words, the game will be up for you. So I went back and they had him, and that HR officer was called Captain W.E. Johns, who wrote the Biggles books. <laughs> there we are, fantastic. So there's a story for you. First thing in the morning, I say. Follow us when you're coming on, guys. There we are. Thou scallywags, thou were caught lacking fine, sir. I don't put my stamp. So there we are. Good for you. It ain't sneaky. We like that. Nice hat, sir. Thank you very much. Very good morning to you all. Follow us as soon as you want. Jesus loves you. Says, uh, yes, yes, he does. In fact, he doesn't just love me. He adores me. You know, and I adore him. Scotty can't stay, must start the day. Popped in to say hello. Enjoy your day, Scotsman. TGE, same to you and Dinky Do. From Japan, Prayu. Prayu from Japan. Lovely to have you with us and Dinky Do. Nice. Keep the content. Thanks, Arf. I thought you'd like a bit of nonsense. You are the next god of the world. Oh, my goodness me. Well, I'm ready, the first lord of the internet. That's not a bad start, is it? Uh, so there we are. Do you know Sir Stanford Ruffles? Well, I have heard of him. 
but all the raffles were a little bit, <laughs> you know what I say. Uh, I love Biggles, yes, and Biggles is very fond of you, speaks very highly of you. Do follow us, guys, as soon as you're coming on. Go on, dinky lad, thank you, Brucci. <laughs> now, who's that behind you with the crown? I'll check in a minute. Uh, why do you have a foreign monarch in the background, Scotty? Well, that's not foreign. That's uh, the head of state of Scotland. That's Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. There we are, fantastic. Head of state for Scotland. And Scotland may well be independent very soon because of Brexit. That's uh, uh, separated everybody, you see. It's caused uh, political fragmentation in the United Kingdom. But of course, Scotland will always be loyal to Her Majesty the Queen. Very, very important. So, no, 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 no. We do have pictures of foreign monarchs, if foreign is a word you like to use. I don't like the word foreign because we're actually all Jock Tamson's bairns. Yes, you need to understand that. Quick question, which one of your most cherished memories and why? I have so many cherished memories. So many. I was thinking of my dear father, who was 99 a couple of days ago, no longer with us, sadly, but one of the loveliest men in the world. You know, quick question. Oh, yes, absolutely. Follows, guys. Hi from Arizona. Acid. We love you from Arizona. Is it lovely and dry? You've got these beautiful big rocks out there. Are you from Glasgow? Got it in one. Are very close. Please say hi, Chloe. Hello, Dinky Do, everybody. I love your accent. I thank you. What's your favorite food? Anything edible. There we are. May England and the Queen take America back for her own. Well, do you know, Nick, it's very interesting. Does America want to come home to Mama? You know, it might well do. I love this accent. OMG. Where do you think the Grail is? I think it's in Anglesey. Oh, the Grail, the Holy Grail. I would think it's probably in Scotland, actually, to be honest with you. But there we are. Who knows? Uh, what do you think about Palestine? Well, things are getting sorted out there. Uncle Joe has stepped into the breach and uh, will maybe manage to bang a few heads together. So there we are. Thank you very much indeed. <coughs> now, uh, I'm working in the USA. It's called Help Wyoming. Wyoming, we love you. I thought you said you're working, but you're from Wyoming. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Uh, is, there not, is that not the center of aircraft manufacture? Or am I imagining that? Um, are you a Tory? I wouldn't know what that is. You see, I'm apolitical. I don't do politics. So uh, I don't know what, what a Tory is, but I will look it up and give you an answer next time. <coughs> Dinky do, Scotty. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning. Israel is more like not real. The Queen won't be around much longer. No, but she's 95, and she still puts in a full shift, and her heirs and successors will take over when she's had enough. Wonderful stuff. A tremendous, outstanding public servant. You know, 95 and still working. We love it. And she's just lost her husband, sadly, as well. Uh, can you say hi to Harry Potter? Of course I can. Free Scotland? Yes, Scotland's absolutely free any time you like. Uh, when will the Queen finally die? Well, I don't have crystal balls, you see, so I can't see into the future. Now, uh, that's that. Uh, what's up? Um, I make TikTok videos. Nikki, so do I. You've come to the right place. How wonderful is that? Have you been on the radio? I've only been on the radio for 37 years. So uh, that's not that long. Do you know what I mean? I'm still learning. Hey, from Uganda. Much love for you, darling. We love Uganda. Yes, Kampala. Lovely to have you with us. So glad you don't have old Idi with you now. He was uh, he was in the King's African Rifles, I think. There we go. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Are you for Scottish independence? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I think uh, that economically, Scotland needs a break from having the life sucked out of it by Westminster. But uh, obviously, we'll be keeping the Queen.
as our head of state. Not that we've got uh, a choice there anyway, because it's axiomatic. Now then, Indy 2, Indy Ref 2, is it true that Scottish people are cheap? It depends what you're buying them for. You know, you could have me for a quarter of a million pounds a year easily. So there we are. And if that's cheap to you, then maybe 300,000. Okay. Do you still have a car in your room? Always. Just in case we need emergency transport, we can slide open the French windows and drive off into the sunset. Now, there we are. Indy Ref 2, when? I think as soon as possible, you know, because we've got the mandate for it. You sound like a really amazing storyteller. User, what a lovely thing to say. But I always deal in fact. You know, very big on facts. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. What's the background of the phrase Dinky Doo? I brought Dinky Doo in 29 years ago in about uh, <clears throat> four weeks' time. And I brought Dinky Doo in because it means, in my book, is all well with you and the rest of the world. Yes, Dinky Doo is everything Dinky Doo. Hello from the Isle of Man. I love the Isle of Man. Everybody knows Scotty McClue on the Isle of Man. <coughs> Pardon me. Don't worry about the cough. I've had it for 21 years. Why do you have a picture of my nan in the background? Because we adore your nan. She's our head of state. There we are. Thanks for coming on, by the way. Clinton Peterson, thank you for a gift first thing in the morning. Morning, Scotty. I hope you're keeping well. Absolutely, Keldo. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Please follow us as soon as you come on. We need to build and build and build. God save the Queen, absolutely cool. Brandis, I used to live in Lancaster. Alyssa, you'll know all about Scotty McClure in Lancaster. Are you LGBT? Well, I'm LGBTS. We need to add straight to that, LGBTS. Good morning from the other side of the channel, but you don't have to be anything on here. You can decide. We don't have any judgment. Good morning from the other side of the channel. When I say we don't have any judgment, I mean we don't sit in judgment. Judge ye as ye be not judged. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. All right, have we got that? Hello, papi. Hola, papi. Milamo Scotty McClure. Uh, an apolitical Scot, what next? We must vote for Scottish independence. Yes, well, that's not political, you see. That's economic. As far as I'm concerned, it's financial. So there we are. Um, I saw that the Queen had lost a new puppy. Sounds very, very sad, Sarah, always. Absolutely. How are you, Dickie Doo? You're super cool, bro. Godspeed, bro. Thank you. You are super cool as well. Scotty, you're my favorite. Veronica, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's live stream on TikTok, the world's great streaming platform. This is the big one that everyone's talking about. This is the one that everyone's watching. Do you support Palestine? Everyone supports Palestine. Everyone supports Israel. We want to get the two of them together and treat them equally. That's the big winner, isn't it? Hola, Pepe. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am. I have crystal balls, says Magnus. Well, Magnus, you tell us what's happening in the future then. Uh, when are you coming to the U.S., Veronica? I think I'll come to the U.S., and I will broadcast on your television and radio stations right across every single state in America. And we'll do a pop-up on a Friday night for an hour. That will be the Scotty McClue Show. Tremendous. There we are. Uh, free Palestine, dinky do. Yes, free Israel as well. Hello from Canada. We love you in Canada, dinky do. Canada. Riley Payne's in the US of A. We love the US of A. I think Uncle Joe might sort out the Middle East, you know, because <coughs> Britain really flogged the Middle East to America in the late 50s. Jesus loves you all. Jesus saves. Yes, he does, Matre. Hi, hi. Dinky do, Mangeek. Mangeek. Welcome, welcome. From Nova Scotia, says Big Bloke. Big Bloke, we love you in Nova 
Scotia. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Let's have a follow fest. Follow Scotty McClue. Dinky do. Have a nice day from the Philippines. We love you. When are you getting back on the radio again, Scotty? Used to love your talk show. Keldo, we might do this, but I have to say, we've only been doing TikTok for a few weeks, and it's been so successful, we might not need to go back on the radio, we'll just do it all here. Maybe get people phoning in. Thoughts of people making themselves uh, official lords and ladies from an online website. Well, if they are official lord and ladies, like I'm the first lord of the internet, then I would say go for it. Get all the lords and ladies on. How are you, Scotty? Dinky do. A lot of them will be watching right now anyway. You know, and uh, do share from us. Bye bye. See you later. Nikki, have a lovely day. Dinky do. Where did you get that hat? Fantastic. So lovely to have you with us. My great grandparents were from Scotland. I'd love to visit one day. Well, we'll tell you more about it on Scotty McClure's TikToks. Get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's TikTok videos and start loving big style. Who's the picture? Your head's on. That's, uh, that's the head of state for Scotland. That's Her Majesty the Queen. Where are you from? Top of the morning to you, lad. Fantastic. Last time you won the Rugby World Cup. Oh, yes, indeed we did. What do you make of the second verse of the National Anthem? I don't really. Well, the second verse is all right, but uh, we don't sing any more than the first verse. There we are. But uh, we can sing the second verse. It's all right. The one that was dodgy, the one you're talking about, would be the last one, I think, yes about uh, going up to quash Scots, tut, 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 different monarch, different day. There we are. Now, thank you very much for sending me a rainbow. We need to clone this guy. He's a rare breed. ta -ha -ha -ha. Awesome. Fantastic. You are awesome. There we are. You're incredibly lucky to live in England. Well, I actually don't live in England. I live in Scotland, but I have lived in England, and I was incredibly lucky. Yes, indeed. Early won the day, Scotty. Absolutely. This is my universe. That's a lovely name. This is my universe. This is a true gentleman, William. I thank you very, very much. So are you, sir. There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. What is this, says Ryan? This is TikTok's top talk show, and you've stumbled on it. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClure. Or you miss a moment of life. There we are. Join us as you can. Follow us, guys. Love to see you're very engaged with your flowers. Absolutely crazy. Yes, and the gardens had a terrific blow of wind recently, so bless the flowers. Hello from Utah. Are you Salt Lake City? Do you know the salt flats where my old friend Donald Campbell used to race? Hey, okay, son, hey, John Logan, God save the Queen from Washington State. Gear, I thank you and love to Washington State this morning. I live near O'Hare Airport. This must be nice, Lynn, but I hope you're not actually on the flight path because I once visited a friend who was on the flight path for Heathrow. Never get a moment's sleep. Hello from Brazil, didn't you know? He was sound asleep. Absolutely sound asleep. I could hear the snoring next door. <laughs> Why does the Queen need to be saved? Doesn't she have a security detail? No, she needs to be saved from any of her enemies. That's the thing, the security detail, look after that. She also needs to be saved because she's such a fabulous lady. So she's got to 95. Fantastic. McGregor for President, Huey McGregor. There we are. Hello from Slovenia. So there we are. Why do you think the royal family deserves so much respect? Because they are the curators and custodians of the crown. The crown is our symbol of authority. You see, and even if you didn't respect the incumbent, you must respect the office. When I first started attending board meetings for big companies, that was one of the first things I learned from one of the world's top company secretaries. Well, whatever you think of the incumbent, you must respect the office. So there you are. Same with America. Yes, absolutely. I mean, a lot of people couldn't stand Trump, but having said that, they put up with him because he was potus. Potus. And I am floati. 
First Lord of the Internet. So if you're hashtagging, hashtag capital letters, flow tie. First Lord of the Internet, Scotty McClure. Everybody will know who you mean. Hello from Louisiana. Scottish Independence, hello from Montrose. We love you in Montrose, Arcs. I remember going to Montrose. <laughs> and I won't say which hotel. I stayed in an hotel in the main street. And uh, the wind was coming in the window. And that was when the window was shut. There we are. Now, um, how are we doing? We've got breakfast in the corner. Yes, in Salt Lake City. We love Salt Lake City. We send you blessings and love to America and to Salt Lake City in Utah. There we are. Hi from Jill. Dink you do Jill. There we go. If I could find 2% of your energy, I'd be a happy man. It's been a pleasure of a great day. Thank you, Cole Brandis. Can we golf together? I'm in Wyoming in the USA. We love it. I'll buy the beers. Ooh, I don't drink alcohol, but very kind of you. Uh, we, what are we talking about, Bestie? We are talking about everything, Dairy Queen. Absolutely, in your ranch. Hello from Louisiana in the USA. We love Louisiana. I'm also in the USA, Dairy Queen Ranch. We love you in the USA. There we are. My favorite USA story was a guy stops off farm in the middle of nowhere right across Route 66. He stays there for the night. And, um, you know, just absolutely amazing. The, the plates are so clean. And the farmer says, the guy goes, your plates are beautifully clean. He says, they're as clean as cold water will get them. Yeah, they're as clean as cold water will get them. And uh, just when he was leaving the next morning, after having had all his meals off the clean plates, the dog was there and the old farmer shouts, cold water, you come in out the road. <laughs> Fantastic. Have a good day, sir. You're amazing. I'll definitely be back. Crazy Four, come and join us anytime. You're very welcome. I'm going to be away in five minutes anyway. Are you single? Well, of course, Lynette. Who would have me? <laughs> Why don't you drink alcohol? Well, I used to thoroughly enjoy it, but about seven years ago, it was a Christmas. I was going to see friends, and I was calculating whether or not I could drive the car because I was working out how many units I'd had the night before. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I can't be bothered with this. I want to drive my car at any time of the day or night. And uh, that's what I did. Why 30% increase in plastic production? Did you cover the Glasgow conference? No, no, but we will do, you see. Dude, I love this live. I'm smiling so much right now. Tin, lovely to have you with us. Or thin. I want to learn a thing or two from you. I feel like you could be my life coach. Absolutely. I am a national and international broadcaster, but I can do life coaching for you. Morning, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Good morning, everybody. You remind me of Fred from Call the Midwife. Thanks for sharing. Have a great day. Well, do you know, <coughs> the doctor came in when I was being born. He actually missed me being born, but my father said, could he help? I was born at home, you see, and he said, could he help? And the doctor said, do you have a poker? He said, a poker? Yeah, a poker. Yes, a poker that you would use on a fireplace. So my father went away, polished up the poker, boiled it, brought it up to the doctor and said, what do you want me to do with this? He said, give that fire a poke. It's freezing in here. Ho oh, ho, Scotty for Prime Minister. Got to go to bed, dinky do. Any tips on quitting alcohol? I'm 21, can't be bothered anymore. Just don't do it. Don't put it down your neck. Wean yourself, wean yourself off it. Tell all your friends that you're not interested and the true friends will stick with you anyway. So don't give it a thought, just you personally no longer drink alcohol. You then don't get the fuzzy heed. There we are. Trump for Preston. There we are. For, for president, is it? I can't really see that. Tweak. Uh, thank you very much, Jess. Just if you want to bring the color balance up a little bit, you can most certainly tweak. Do you support LGBTQ? I support LGBTQ. S. We need to add straight to that so that we've got LGBTQS. That's the way it should be. Buddy, dinky do. Buddy, can you spare a time? <coughs> Pardon me. 
If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome, guys. First thing in the morning, the Scotty McClure Red Eye pop-up. I remember you from Century FM. Good times, brilliant times. Beautiful radio station. Radio nowadays is really a jukebox. Do you believe in Finland? Like, does it exist? Oh, yes, Finland exists. My goodness, you're talking to Santa Claus. I know all about Finland and Lapland. Quick question, <clears throat> what's your most cherished memories and why? Well, I was just saying, my father would have been 99 the other day, and I just adored that man. <laughs> all my life is a cherished memory. I've only met one bad man who took money off me in a business deal. One bad man out of all the beautiful people I have met. That's not bad, is it? So there we are, because I did say that to somebody said, well, do be careful, because there are a lot of them about, but I don't see it. I just see beautiful people. That was my problem with the one bad man. So there we are. Fantastic. Great uncle was uh, Howard Marks. Do you know him? I do remember the Marks brothers. Get a real podcast, buddy. Okay, Hayden. What's the difference of podcast and this? LMAO. LMAO, Hayden. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Scotty, if independent, will Scotland have to pay reparations for war crimes in the British Empire? No, I don't think there were any war crimes in the British Empire as such. It's just like all empires, they assumed that a superiority, you see? So I don't know that you could class it as war crimes. I think just look at the fact that virtually every nation has had an empire. You had the British Empire, the Portuguese Empire, the German Empire, the French Empire, the Belgian Empire, the Dutch Empire, the Spanish Empire. Do you see what I mean? The Irish Empire, the African Empire. Yes, do you see how it goes on? So there we are. If you are an imperialist, right, I don't know if you are or not, but it goes on. Morning, mate, you have a blessed day. Uh, sir, Britain committed terrible genocides. Do you agree? Well, you see, everybody committed terrible genocides, usually amongst their own people. Russia committed terrible genocides. Germany committed terrible genocides. France, Spain, Portuguese, on we go, on we go, you see. What you'd be best to do is say, that's the past, and uh, let's get the future. Uh, now, there's somebody with a wee chip in the shoulder saying, no Irish Empire, we had the British ruling us. No, no, you didn't. Yes, they weren't ruling you, they were feeding you. That's what it's all about. And, of course, there was an Irish Empire. We are all Irish via the African Rift Valley. So we're all Africans, yes, and then through Ireland. All right, have you got that? Um, now, there we go. Howard Marks. <clears throat> Didn't know anything about him. What have we got here? Can you say free Palestine? Well, of course we can. And free Israel in the interest of balance. What do you think about the Meghan and Harry drama? They have plummeted. Well, she certainly has in my eyes because you don't marry into our royal family. There's the mother of all the world, the mother of the free world. You don't marry into our royal family and then dump on them. Tut, tut, tutity, tut, tut. Free Israel someday. <laughs> Britain invented the concentration camp. <clears throat> yes, well, they did mainly out in South Africa during the Boer War. Yes, when the Dutch were acting up. You see what I mean? Is that a Liverpool accent? Yeah, we can do Liverpool for you, because we love the bones of Liverpool. What's your opinion on what the Empire did to the Bantu people? Well, my opinion, I, you know, wouldn't like any of that. You know? I mean... Yes, mistakes were made, but you have to put it in context. I mean, nowadays, you wouldn't be transporting slaves. But in the 16, 15, 1600s, they were. And the people at home were slaves. Do you see what I mean? Now, we've all got an education. We need to be moving on. There we are as well, absolutely. And Britain was in Palestine and kept a lot of peace in Palestine.
Wise words in the royal family. Cheers. Absolutely. And ah, there we go. There's somebody from uh, Ireland who supports the Royal Artillery. Absolutely. Quite right, too. Now, what have we got? Um, two, three, five. Can you move on? This is a joyful TikTok. So you going on about things 500 years ago is of no consequence nowadays. There's Kareem joining us. Uh, partly to blame for the Irish famine. No, 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 the Irish famine was caused by a potato blight. Yes, there were poor communications as well. Do you support Cascadia, uh, the independent Pacific Northwestern states? Don't know enough about it, Nick. I'll have to study it and see what I think. Are you trying to justify colonialism? No, I'm trying to explain colonialism. There's a huge difference. Of course, you wouldn't justify it, but you can explain it. Have a great evening, sir. My mom's name was Harold, and dad's family was English. Uh, thank you, Matt. Lovely, lovely. There we are. Sending TikToks. Thank you so much. Good morning, Kareem. So there we are. Now, uh, who have we got here? You're up early in the morning. No, no. We're always up early in the morning. We are just live early in the morning. You sound like Boris Johnson. Really? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know what he sounds like. I'll have a listen. Uh, of course, I was only curious. So good morning, Scotty. Thank you, Fibu. Yes, very strange thing to say. Bra says he didn't think he do. Yes, absolutely, bra. Uh, what time is it there? It's three minutes past seven. I need to dash. You're on early, Scotty. Nice to see you. We are indeed Kareem. Lovely to see you. Have a gorgeous day, and I'll catch you all later in the day. Guys, all I can say is thank you for watching TikTok's Top Talk Show. Lovely to have you with us. Make sure that you follow us. Hi from New Jersey. Hi to America. Everybody's on from America. We love you guys. Thank you so much. And blessings to both Israel and Palestine. Uncle Joe has waded in. Get your act together and sort it all out, I say. Wonderful stuff. Um, now, uh, thank you for watching. It's been tremendous to have your company first thing in the morning. Remember to follow Scotty McClue. Tell all your fellow TikTokers about Scotty McClue because we're relatively new to TikTok. Good night, Nicole. Zzz, Matt Maz, away to bed. Must have been on the night shift. Dinky do. And, uh, of course, look at all the videos and love them because they're all for you. If you don't mind crossing platforms, get on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. There's a Scotty McClure saying dinky do to all of you. God save the Queen, says Monty. Have a great day, says Mark. And you, Mark, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Have a gorgeous day, my loves. Ta-ra-la's.